Hello. This is a request from Marie um, for Taurus Virgo. Taurus Virgo couple reading. Now I do couple reading a little bit different um, than maybe another tarot reader. If you don't like my style, Leo, go find a tarot reader. <laughs> My tarot deck is pre-shuffled. What I do is I, I create two piles and then collect them together. So this is Taurus past energy. This is your person's past energy. So Taurus Virgo. Taurus Virgo. Taurus current energy. Virgo current energy. Oh. Taurus future energy. <laughs> Virgo future energy. The couple energy together. Impossible outcome. Okay. Framing the reading is the five of cups. Okay, Taurus Virgo. You can probably read this without me. Um, Taurus, your your past energy was two of cups. You're you were ready, willing, able, and looking forward to um, an equal partnership. Um, well, your person, I won't say they weren't ready, but they were in protective mode. They were in recuperation mode. That was their past energy. This is your past energy. The current energy is you're you're in. The Romeo, King of Cups, in reverse. Now you're thinking that you haven't probably received the recognition, the love, the adoration that you deserve as a Taurus. And you're still, you're still there. It's just now you're in a um, don't tell me, show me kind of frame of mind. Don't tell me, show me. While they are in the Hierophant, which is a Taurus energy card, that is more into, well, now I'm into um, the current energy for Virgo is, let's go to, uh, I want to learn more. I want to be about traditions. I want to, um, the old fashioned type of, of see, it's not incongruent with your current energy. It's just you're in a different um, state of mind. You're now in, okay, I've done all this. Where is your heart at? I want you not to tell me. I want you to show me. Okay, your future energy is you're all about the home. Taurus, you're all about the home. There you are as the, as the king of pentacles. You want to protect home. You want to be about home. You want your home life situated. The Virgo card is almost, hmm, well, I, I went from being protective mode into trying to learn more about um, hmm, such a, almost like a traditional type of a feeling, almost like leaning on their, their current, um, energy is to lean on traditional matters um, as a way, I think, of, of slowing down something. And here they are um, leaning on the Three of Wands, looking ahead toward to, toward something coming in. So where you're you're already there and bought a house and are paying the mortgage, they're they're looking um, they're working with a real estate agent looking for a home. See, it's, it's almost like um, different, uh, on different planes. I won't say different planets. I'll say different planes because the energy is about expectation. And here's some tradition too. So it's, it, you guys meet at a certain level. Now, the energy the energy is a bit flirtatious it's a bit seeking 
Um, I don't, I don't really mind <laughs> that you would say, well, we've known each other for a long time or we're, you know, if you're still at that part of finding new things about each other, there's a, a feeling of, of you know, when I see the, the Ace of Wands, I'm, I often think of um, that wand as flirtatious, definitely, but also as if there's like a, someone's lighting a torch, some kind of seeking, seeking different depths of knowledge of each other, seeking a greater understanding of each other. It's, it's innovative, it's new, it's novel, and it's, it's searching, it's seeking. Um, possible outcome, a bit of a burden. There, there's some burdens. I, I think the burden might come from understanding each other's different level of energy. It's almost like you, that both of you want the same thing, but you're... One is... One is... <laughs> The Taurus seems to be more in tune with their, with their, with what they want and how to get there. The Virgo in this situation, again, this is a generalized reading. It can't be for every Taurus Virgo, so don't come for me. In this situation, it seems like they they were in protective mode. They were seeking stability through tradition by leaning on traditions, and and searching and waiting for for. Um, Great expectations. All in all, it's not a bad reading. There seems to be a little regret here. Um, someone kicked over some love. However, yeah, they kicked over some love possibilities with the Three of Cups down. But behind them that they don't see is what? Right here. The Two of Cups. Sorry, I want you to see that. Right here. Behind them is the Two of Cups, right here. So, there you go. I haven't told you anything that you didn't know already. Um, you might be in um, not a nine, of, not a Nine of Wands, no, nine, not a Nine of Swords. This energy is a little bit swirling. You're not in a Nine of Swords energy, Taurus, but you might be in an Eight of Swords where you're kind of up in your head. Don't let your worries become your realities. Keep your worries in check. Stay the course. Remember the star card, the beautiful Aquarius card. And uh, I wish you well. Thank you. Bye-bye.